Welcome back to Our Life Simplified. I'm Laura. Thank you for watching. So in today's video, I am going to sex the baby chicks that just hatched four days ago. If you've been following me at all, you know that I have been on this journey of incubating eggs, handling eggs, hatching eggs, and now I am curious to see how many are male, how many are female. So I'm going to attempt and try my hand at sexing these chicks. There are multiple ways of doing this. I've gone out on the website, I've researched, and I've seen almost probably a dozen or more ways that you can sex chickens. Some of them are, uh, you really need to leave up to the professionals, such as venting. Other techniques are more of maybe an old wives tale, so it, they aren't as reliable. The technique that I plan on using is the feather sexing. Feather sexing, or they call it wing sexing. And basically what you are going to do with that is you are going to take the baby chick, spread the wings, and if it's a female, you will see alternating feathers of different lengths. There might be one long, one short, and so forth. I'll show you an image of this. The male chicks, their wing feathers are going to be all the same size, whereas the females are gonna be the alternating feathers. So that's the technique I'm actually gonna to use today. So these are the seven babies that were hatched four days ago. They are already getting big. They grow very, very fast. And just a quick note, make sure you wash your hands prior to picking them up. And then after you are done handling them, make sure you wash your hands. This is for safety reasons. Okay, so, aw, she's so cute. They are adorable, aren't they? Aww. Okay, so based on what this shows, we will start with the first one. And I have two containers here, female and male. We'll, we'll see how well this works. You basically are going to spread out their wings. Oh, this looks like a female. Do you see how it's longer here and shorter down here? And it looks like it's alternating, fe uh, alternating feathers. So we'll call this a female. Stay baby. Okay, the second one, um, I am, an old, and be very delicate if you do this, I am not sure, I might call, I don't know. Let me see if I can on the other side. You might have to come back and look at this later. I know we have a couple of bigger feathers up here. This might possibly be a female as well. I'm gonna call this one a female. Oh, this one, I think this is gonna be a female. Do you see, that one might be a male actually. Do you see these? I would, I'm gonna call this one a female. This is male. Might be a male actually. That one's an iffy one. This one we are gonna call, uh-oh, might be a male. There's a couple of feathers here, that, but it looks like most of them, that one might be a male. This one I believe is a female. Do you see how the feathers? I'm gonna call this one a female. If you can see. There we go. I'll call that a female. Stay here. A couple more left. A couple more. Uh-oh. That one looks like it might be a male. We'll call that one a male. And this one looks like it might be a female. See them? That one looks like a female. So, 
if I did this correctly, if I, I am going to say four female, three male, if you are experienced and you know how to sex chickens with feathers, please let me know in the comments below. Yeah. I'm not going to tell my daughter who is supposed to be getting these chicks um, at around six weeks, but yeah, I have a feeling it's four female and three male. We will see. Okay, babies. Okay, so if I am correct, um, I don't know if my daughter is going to be happy or not, but uh oh, we got aggressive ones. So time will tell if I did this correctly. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future videos. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you would like to continue following me on this journey, please be sure to subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching.